I got bit in the ass by a customer, and this bird reminded me of it. I'm going to tell you a story, and then we're going to focus on how to keep it from happening to you. So, we were given this bird right here. Her name is Gracie, and I have two hunting dogs, and I told the person that donated the bird to our house that I'm not going to guarantee it's going to live. She said it was going to be fine, and I wheeled this bird in on her little fancy cage that I bought for her, and I told my wife, well, this bird stays up here at the top. Maybe the dogs will leave it alone. But what does this thing do? It walks down to the bottom of the cage, sits at the very bottom of the cage, and then goes, come here, right to my dogs. Now the stupider of the two dogs runs over there, walks right up to the bird like, oh, hi, welcome, how you doing? And the bird bites the dog on the nose and then crawls back up to the top of the cage laughing. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I seen, but it reminded me of my own experience with a customer. How many times have you been called out to a job, done excellent work, customer's happy, but when it comes time to get paid, guess what? Guess who gets bit in the ass? You do. I do. I've been there. If you haven't been there yet, you will. I'm going to help keep you from the, having that happen. We're going to talk about a simple way to formulate your proposals on one-off projects. These are landscaping jobs or construction jobs that are just a one-time gig. A little different than how you work it into your daily proposal for maintenance. So let's get right into it real quick. Are you ready? So the first thing you do on one-off projects is you get $100 down minimum just for signing the proposal. The reason you do that is it commits the customer to your project. If you don't get any money down, the customer can cancel at any time. Before I used to get $100 down, I'd be driving out to a job site, have the equipment loaded, and have the customer call me up and go, oh, you know what, I think we're not gonna do the job. <laughs> here, here I've, now I've got a big opening in my schedule and I'm on the road. It's a waste of time for me and it's annoying. So you get $100 down, it's not refundable. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to ask for half down as soon as you show up on that site. So when you pull up to their house or their project, you have the equipment in hand or the materials are there, the customer should expect that they have to walk out with a check for half of the total project due. Now you don't want to ask for more than that, it sends off kind of a weird vibe. But half down is kind of an industry standard that most customers can swallow without too much worry. And then you're going to let the customer know that as soon as the project is done, as soon as everything is finished, you expect balance in full paid right away. Another thing that you have to do is you have to put a pre-lien notice on their proposal. Otherwise, you, for, you forgo all of your lien rights. You've got to protect yourself. Customers protect themselves. You as the business owner are obligated to make sure that you have all your your uh, T's crossed and I's dotted. And in this case, a pre-lien notice on the proposal in many states is mandatory or you give up your lien rights. And it's nothing more than a little tiny box that you put on the proposals and it has some technical lingo. Google that crap. You'll find it, copy and paste it. If you don't have it, email me. I'll give you mine. I'll copy and paste mine and give it right to you. So those are the simple ways you can protect yourself so you don't get bit in the ass by a customer. Money makes people funny, and now you know what you can do to protect yourself. Have a good one.